so only uh, another frustrating afternoon for a to how would you describe this game? Um, pretty similar to, to Tuesday nights, we, we, we just haven't, haven't defended well. Um, started sloppy, they get a goal, um, our defensive shape is, is all over the gaff and we're doing fantastic to get back in it again, score a good goal on top. Have a goal disallowed that I, I think only the referee seen it again, um, and then just minutes before half time we concede another sloppy one, and then it's it, it's an uphill task um, against the wind because it was really windy today, and uh, against the wind and against a team that just wanted to to sit in and again they've, they've hurt us by putting balls on on top of us, and um, we just. We haven't defended well. You know, I mean, we, we, it was from from the start of the game to the end of the game we've defended poorly. And again, must be disappointed to have another early goal conceded as well. Yeah, especially after after um, the prep, um, the instructions that they had to go out was make sure we're in the game um, after 10, 15 minutes um, and play our way in. And we give the ball away in the final third again, same as the other night. Give the ball away when there's nothing on. Give the ball away cheap rather than being patient. Four passes, they're in and around. I mean, the kids put a great ball in, and, and Sam's got to go for it because if you don't, the kid taps it in anyway. But um, it's it, it, it comes from our from our mistake that, that leads up to it to give them the ball and give it away cheap. So, um, but as I say, we, we we do well. We get back in, we play well. Um, you know, what I mean, we're, we're knocking it around well, and uh, and we're, we're hurting them. Dodsey's, I think. Even though, even though we, we're on the end of a three-one, I think Dodgy's had a had a great game, and but we haven't we haven't been we haven't been ruthless again. You know I mean, the, the chance that Gloves missed, I told him about it in there. That's two two from in yard, inside the six-yard box now that he's missed in three games, and and that's that's not good enough for this level. We need to be taking them, and, and we're on top. But the the the, the start kills us. And do you believe there's a lack of urgency in Hensford's attacking play? Um, no, I thought with the first half, um, second half it was difficult with the wind. Um, uh, but the first half, I thought we we done well. Luke's coming first game back, um, and we linked the play well. I thought him and gloves looked a threat, and then we was getting the ball out to Dodsey. Um, but when we when we create the chances, we've got, we've got to take them. Is there, would you say um, Matt Dodd was the one player perhaps stood out for you today? Dodsey's had a good game. Yeah, I think Luke did okay. Um, considering it's his, uh, it's his first game back, um, but yeah, Dodsy, Dodsy we, we know that Dodsy gives us that threat. Um, so yeah, uh, it, uh, as I said the other night, you know, I mean, we we, we take it collectively. He, I'm sure Dodsy would would be happier coming off having not such a good game, but with us taking a point or, or three points home. So, would you say the defence is perhaps your immediate concern? Because we've conceded, I believe, seven goals in three games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the defence is a massive concern, um, and there'll be changes in the defence on Tuesday. I'm just in here, you know. we've, got, we've got defenders sat on the bench. They'll be they'll be sat looking at the two games, thinking I should play, and they, they, they should. They're right. I didn't want to I didn't want to make wholesale changes after after Tuesday because um, I didn't believe that we could we could defend as badly as that again. But I've been I've been proved wrong, and, and we have defended. So yeah, there'll be uh, there'll be changes on Tuesday. Um, if the lads come in and do well, they'll, they'll, they'll keep the shirt. Uh, go looking ahead into the next two games, particularly at home. Is this important now to gain some momentum for the rest of the month? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're three games in, and I know, you know I mean, I've heard a few of the fans and what they've got to say coming up, but we're still a new team. You know what I mean? We've gone away to Matlock, who will be up there. I think they've won again, they've beat Aldringham today. Um, we've come across, away today uh, to one of the, the pre season favourites. Um, a lot, of, a lot of people think, and, and Shoreline will be up there. You know, what I mean, they've got a lot of players that have dropped down from the conference and Conference North, and they've even got two lads today that, that have come out of the football league. So we're not, we're not panicking. You know, what I mean, we know it's not, it's not been a, it's not been the start that we wanted, but we, we've had chances in every game, and you, I'm taking the positives out of it. Yes, the, the defensive side of it has been, has been poor. Um, Make no mistake about that. You know what I mean. I'm, I'm not daft. I can count. <laughs> I, know, I know the goals we've conceded. And when you look at when you look at the the back four that we've got out there, you, you think that the one thing that they should do is 
is keep clean sheets, and we don't look like doing that. So, uh, so look, as I say, there'll, there'll be changes, and, and we'll go into the next one and two home games. Um, and they know, you know what I mean. I'm not. So I've said, I've said to the lads in there, I'm not, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win football matches. Um, if I need to be, I need to be ruthless in my decisions. We've already had, you know what I mean. I've left, left Jordan Wheatley out the squad today to bring another attacking player in. And, um, if there's big decisions to make, I'm, I'm more than happy to make them as long as we, we start winning football matches. And we need a win on Tuesday, and we go into, you know what I mean. We've got, we've got two home games now um, that I want to be picking up six points from. Anything, anything less than that uh, won't be good. Enough. So what sort of test do you believe Hales are in? There's no, there's no easy games in this league. I've said it from the start. Um, I don't know what their result was today. I mean, they had a good win the other day. Um, Hales Owen, one, one thing about Hales Owen, that they always work hard. Um, you know what I mean? They'll come. Um, they've got quality players in there that can hurt you. But I'm not. It doesn't. It, it doesn't matter what Hales Owen do. It doesn't matter what Lancaster do next week. It doesn't matter what any teams do coming up. We've got to we've got to sort our game out, and we need to sort it out very quickly. Um, and, and that's what we'll be concentrating on. Um, as I said, the beauty of the league is you get to turn it around very quickly. Um, we'll, we'll go into Tuesday. We'll have a look at it. There's nothing we can do about this now apart from learn from it, and, and hopefully we'll learn from it going into Tuesday's game, and then get a win that takes us into Saturday. Finally, how important have the fans been in the next two home games? The fans have been brilliant. You know what I mean? I've been <laughs> I've had a couple of them chirp, uh, you know what I mean, as we go off, but uh, rightly so, you know what I mean, rightly so. They spend their hard earned money and they, they're coming away and they're travelling all this way and they deserve more than what they're getting at the moment. And it's my, I've been given the job to, to sort this team out and to get to get a team back out there that, that they can be proud of. And at the moment, we're not doing that. I still believe the squad is good enough. We're still a new squad, um, you know what I mean? It, it's, so we're still learning each other's games, but. If I if I paid all this money to come up here and I paid my my twelve quid to get in or whatever it was today and I saw what was on offer, I wouldn't be happy. Um, so, but the the vast majority have been very supportive and, and and they are behind us. And yeah, we we need to get we need to get them behind us at home. We need to start getting the crowds up. But the crowds are only going to come if we're, if we're playing decent football and we're playing winning football. And that needs to start on Tuesday. Thank you, Neil. No worries, mate.